what to do. A lot of times you do these drills and stuff, but you might not understand like what really is going on and what really like, you can do to be a, become a better player. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is, is the ability to go buy something. And to be honest with you guys, I think that's what the game's all about. Do you, can you go buy your guy? If you can, you create a number of problems for the opposing team. And if you have one person on your team that can, on his own, go buy something without a, without a pick and roll, without a ball screen, that gives you a significant advantage. And probably the opposing coach would have to change his game plan and play some sort of different defense, possibly, because of that ability. Going by somebody is the most important thing I look for in any player that plays for me in, and I go to camps, when I watch kids play, I want guys that can go by guys, right? That sounds easy to say, but how do you go by guys? Well, you gotta learn how to catch the ball properly. You have to understand the value of your first step, how important that is. You don't have to be fast. I've had the fastest players go to the field in our school that can't do anything in the basketball court, right? Because they don't understand the ability to catch the ball and swing that lead foot by somebody, all right, without dribbling the basketball, all right? When, you, when I'm catching the ball, we're gonna talk about this today, the ability to catch it and then take one gigantic step without even dribbling it and then go by somebody. And ultimately, I think that that is what you wanna be able to do as a player. Right? You want to be able to go buy something. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how to make it easy on yourself. And we're going to do part of this little um, skills and drill we're going to do is based on a ball reversal. What does a ball reversal mean? Anybody know? Yes. When you move the ball from one side of the court to the other, probably the best thing your offense can do is to move the ball from one side all the way to the other. Why is that good? Okay, so you're talking about the opposite team of defense. So what it's, tell me a little bit more about the defense. There's, there's no help, and the defense would have to do what to get back over there. They have to rotate. That means they have to move, right? And that's when a really smart player has the full advantage. When you are getting the ball and someone's rushing at you, you can use their momentum against them and have that ability to go by somebody. What we're going to do is, I need, you see, we'll go three guys right now, right? Okay, three guys, Christian, you call me, I want to know you. What's your first name? Mm -hmm. Evan, come on over here, buddy. And one more. Right here. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan? Hi, Ryan. Hi, Evan. Okay. What we're going to do is, we're going to start the ball on one side, and I'm going to go over, follow the So when the ball gets swung from one side to the other,
Tommy. Chest passes. Okay. Uh, the, um, the person who has the most. 
career points in NBA history? Nope. Yes. Yes. to guard, which means that basically as a coach I would say I can't guard him, so I'm probably going to have to play zone defense because if I play man-to-man, -man, we are screwed. So that would probably be, I would say the toughest one-on-one -on -one guard would be Jalen Adams. Oh, nice. Hey, speaking of Jalen Adams, you got his coach on the phone right here. Oh, you do? <laughs> Very nice. Hey, Jalen Adams is going to UConn. He's going to play at Melrose High School. Sex League is a pretty good league, but it's not like a major Division One league. Um, what are, what are the teams are? I'm trying to think of. All right. Um, nobody, because all the good players pretty much play in college basketball. We had one player that I played with that came right before me at Wake. I went to Wakefield High School who played at Villanova. Anybody else? 